The blood is the medium used for gas transport throughout the body. Oxygen is required for metabolic activity of all body cells, but is only available in the lungs. The partial pressure of oxygen is higher in the alveoli than in the blood, so oxygen diffuses into the blood and can be transported to the other parts of the body. At the tissues, the partial pressure of oxygen is higher in the blood than in the cells, so the oxygen moves into the cells where it promotes aerobic metabolism. Carbon dioxide is generated in cells as a metabolic waste product and accumulates in the tissues. It must be carried to the lungs where it can be removed from the body. Oxygen is picked up in the lungs and transported to the other body tissues in two ways, attached to hemoglobin molecules in red blood cells and as a dissolved gas. Oxygen is not very soluble in water. Because of this, only a very small percent of the oxygen is transported as a dissolved gas. Almost all oxygen is transported bound to hemoglobin molecules located in red blood cells. Hemoglobin molecules consist of four polypeptide chains. Each polypeptide chain contains an iron-bearing heme group. An oxygen molecule binds to each iron ion located in each heme group. Hemoglobin that is not bound to oxygen is called deoxyhemoglobin. Loading or association of oxygen to deoxyhemoglobin forms oxyhemoglobin. The production of oxyhemoglobin can be illustrated through the following reaction. Oxygen binds with deoxyhemoglobin to form oxyhemoglobin and hydrogen ions. This equation represents the binding of oxygen to the iron ions in heme groups in hemoglobin molecules. Oxygen association occurs at the lungs. The dissociation of oxygen from oxyhemoglobin can be illustrated through the following reaction. Hydrogen ions bind to oxyhemoglobin to form deoxyhemoglobin and oxygen. This equation represents the unbinding of oxygen from the iron ions in heme groups in hemoglobin molecules. Oxygen dissociation occurs at the tissue cells. The loading and unloading of oxygen to hemoglobin is governed by factors that allow hemoglobin to pick up oxygen in oxygen-rich environments and give up oxygen in regions where it is needed. The more oxygen molecules binding to hemoglobin, the higher its saturation. When all of its oxygen binding sites are filled, hemoglobin is considered to be saturated and is called oxyhemoglobin. Factors that affect the ability of hemoglobin to bind to or release oxygen include partial pressure of oxygen, pH, partial pressure of carbon dioxide, temperature, a chemical called bisphosphoglycerate, or BPG, and hemoglobin type. A key factor influencing the production of oxyhemoglobin is the partial pressure of oxygen. The partial pressure of oxygen determines the number of oxygen molecules that can bind oxygen loading or dissociate oxygen unloading from hemoglobin. Blood in vessels coming from the lungs is very high in oxygen partial pressure, so saturation is high. This is because oxygen binds to all available sites in hemoglobin and forms oxyhemoglobin. Blood near skeletal muscle cells 
is very low in oxygen partial pressure, so saturation is low. The higher partial pressure of oxygen bound to oxyhemoglobin causes the oxygen to detach and it is unloaded to the tissues. Oxyhemoglobin saturation is affected by blood pH values. Increased metabolic acids, like lactic acid and carbonic acid, enhance dissociation of oxyhemoglobin and the unloading of oxygen. This effect is called the Bohr effect. Lowered pH increases the unloading of oxygen from oxyhemoglobin, thereby making oxygen available for actively metabolizing cells. In contrast, elevated pH values increase the affinity of oxygen to hemoglobin, thereby lowering the unloading of oxygen to tissue cells. Carbon dioxide is picked up at the tissues and carried in the blood to the lungs for disposal in three forms, as bicarbonate ions, as carbon dioxide bound to hemoglobin, and as a dissolved gas. A very small percent of carbon dioxide is transported in the plasma as a dissolved gas. A slightly larger percent of the carbon dioxide is transported bound to hemoglobin as carb amino hemoglobin. Carb amino hemoglobin is formed near metabolically active cells and carries carbon dioxide from systemic cells to the lungs. When the blood reaches the lungs, carbon dioxide dissociates from the hemoglobin and diffuses out of the plasma into the alveolar airspace. Most of the carbon dioxide is carried in the form of bicarbonate ions in the plasma. The carbon dioxide in the plasma diffuses into the red blood cell. There it undergoes a chemical reaction catalyzed by the enzyme carbonic anhydrase and is rapidly converted to bicarbonate ions. As levels of carbon dioxide increase, the production of bicarbonate ions increases. The bicarbonate ion diffuses into the plasma, where it is carried to the lungs. In order to maintain electrical balance in the red blood cell, the movement of the negatively charged bicarbonate ions out of the cell is balanced with the movement of negatively charged chloride ions into the cell. This process is called the chloride shift. Carbon dioxide is generated near the alveoli. The carbon dioxide that is produced diffuses into the alveolus for removal from the body.